All right, well, we're here in Logan, Utah. Not the best time of the year to be here, but it's been snowing the last few days. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to collect some soil while we're out here, see what kind of microorganisms we can find, if we can get any insect pathogens. A lot of times when you think about going into the field to collect soil, you think you gotta go into the mountains or into the, um, the prairie or the desert to collect it, but really, soil's everywhere. That's the great thing about isolating fungi from the soil is you can get soil anywhere you're at. Um, so we're just gonna go look under some of these trees. We'll find a place where we can dig some, some dirt. All you need is a spade and some Ziploc bags and a permanent marker and you're, you're ready to go. Found a good spot to dig. The ground's a little frozen, but that doesn't matter. The all the microorganisms are still going to be there. Um, we're here by some trees and some bushes and stuff. This is a really good place because a lot of these insect pathogens um, form symbiotic relationships with with roots, and so we're probably going to have some good luck isolated from this soil. don't need to fill the bag up, just a couple scoops. You don't want to go too deep either. Most of these microorganisms are going to live on the top layer. And then you just want to take your GPS and write down the coordinates of where you're at. All right, so we brought our soil here from the field to Utah State University Veterinary and Science Building where they have an insect pathology lab. And we can have it tested to see if there is any um, native fungi in it that might be potential pathogens. So after we bring the dirt in from the field, the first thing we do is catalog it in the computer and assign it a soil sample number that will help us track it through the whole process of isolating the pathogens in the soil. All right, Janita, we just collected this soil from the field. Do you think you could take a look at it and see what's in it? Sure, I'll just get started right now. Great. So let me just walk you through what Janita's doing here. Um, he's going to first of all sterilize the scoop he uses to work with the soil, just so that he doesn't one soil sample with one that he had previously worked with. Um, he does that using alcohol and sterile wipes. Then he's going to add about 5 to 10 grams of soil into a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube which he'll then fill to 50 milliliters with autoclaved water um, using a pipette. Once that's done, and when he put that dirt in, he tried to avoid large rocks and stuff. He's going to shake it, and then he's just going to let it sit for a little while. Okay, so this is the second stage of the isolation. What he's going to do is after that sat and let the particles settle to the bottom, he's going to pipette out 50 microliters of um, suspension off the top and that'll have a lot of the microorganisms in it. He's going to put that onto our dotine plates. Those are the plates that are, have selective medium in them. 0.002% um, dotine is the concentration that we really like. And then he's just going to spread that around using a glass spreader and he sterilizes that with alcohol and a flame. Um, after that's been spun and then we just put it inside a container and we close the lid to keep the humidity in there and stick it in an incubator. So after we've inoculated the doting plates with the soil suspensions that we made, we go ahead and put them in the incubator at 20 degrees Celsius where we'll just let them sit for six days after which we'll look and see what kind of colonies we have growing. All right, so it's been six days, so let's go ahead and check and see how our soil plates are doing. These 
are looking good. Stop that. Some of these colonies look really good, so let's go ahead and take them over to our fungal expert and have him look at them and see if he thinks any have potential as an insect pathogen. Hey Everton, how's it going? I'm good. So, do you have some some colonies to look at? Yeah, so let's take a. Why don't you take a look at some of these? That we just oh, good. Finished growing. So you see these colonies? It they really looks like uh, metarizin. So we should see. We should make some slides of those colonies. This colony looks like Bavaria, so we should make some slides too. Let's see that. 